Bonjour, bienvenue à Learn French with Jennifer. I'm glad to see you came back this week. So, this week's lesson is going to make you feel really, really good about your French speaking abilities. I started thinking that some of you might need a little encouragement. And the thing is, in French, sometimes we get so bogged down with the exceptions and the irregular verbs, etc., etc., etc. While it's true that there are a lot of exceptions and a lot of irregularities to the language, a lot of the verbs do follow patterns. In fact, the great majority of French verbs follow patterns, and that's why they're classified in three groups. Are you ready? The first group, they're groups of ER verbs. The second group are groups, uh, I'm sorry, are verbs that end in IR, and the third group are verbs that end in RE. Now, I bet a lot of these are coming to mind. When you think ER verbs, what do you think of? Parler, gagner, manger, voyager, étudier, right? There's just a ton of them. That's the biggest group, which is awesome because they all follow a pattern. The second group, IR verbs, we have verbs like finir, choisir, uh, grossir, maigrir, réussir, rougir, bâtir, there's lots of those too. And in the third group, the RE verbs, we have verbs like descendre, attendre, vendre, uh, perdre, for example. So let's today just take a moment, you deserve it, give yourself five or ten, five or ten minutes to review your regular verbs in French. Let's look at the first group. As an example verb, let's take the verb regarder, which means to look at. First thing you have to do to conjugate the verb is find the stem. So in order to find the stem, remember it works the same for all regular ER verbs. You just take off the ER for the verb regarder, for example, you take off the ER and you see what you're left with, R-E-G-A-R-D. Now it's just up to you to learn the endings that go on that stem, and voila, you'll have a conjugated verb. So for the je form, all you have to do is add an e to the stem. So it becomes je regarde, I look at. For the tu form, all you have to do is add an es, tu regardes, you look at, or you watch. For the il, elle, on form, you just have to add an e, il, elle, on, regarde. For the new form, all you have to add is an o, an s, nous, regardons. For the vous form, add an e, z, vous, regardez. And for the il, elle, plural form, add an e, n, t, always remembering that you don't pronounce it, the e, n, t on the verb is always silent. So it becomes il, regarde, or elle, regarde. Voila, that's it. It's as simple as that. For the second group, the IR verbs, let's take a verb like rougir, because it's more fun than finir. What does rougir mean? Do you see a root word in that verb? Rouge, rougir. Right, so the word is rouge, which means red. What do you think the verb rougir means? It means to blush. What a lovely verb. I love that verb. So, all you have to do to find the stem is take off the IR from the infinitive. So, for a verb like rougir, you take off the IR and you're left with R-O-U-G. Now, let's go through the endings. For the je form, you add IS, je rougis. For the tu form, you add an IS as well, tu rougis. So, we've got I blush, you blush. What about he blushes or she blushes? For the il, elle, on form, you add an i, t. It's also pronounced il, rougi, elle, rougi. For the new form, the ending is kind of long. It's i, s, s, o, n, s. It's pronounced nous, rougissons. We blush. So even if it looks funny to you, never fret. Hmm? It's correct. Promise. For the vous form, you add I-S-S-E-Z, and it's pronounced rougissez, vous rougissez. And for the il, elle, plural form, you add I-S-S-E-N-T, il rougisse, 
elles rougissent. Super. Good, good, good revision of the second group of verbs. Now, finally, and lastly, let's talk about RE verbs. Let's look at the verb vendre. For example, do you know what vendre means? I kind of hope you don't because it's fun to figure it out together. Vendre looks like an English noun, which is vendor, right? What do vendors do? They sell stuff. That's what the verb vendre means. It means to sell. So, let's look at how to find the stem, then we'll get the endings and we'll be done. You find the stem of regular RE verbs by taking off the RE. I bet you could have guessed that. Then you just have to add the endings. For the je form, all you have to do is add an S. Je vends. Don't pronounce the S. For the tu form, tu vends. Add an S. For the il, elle, on form, don't add anything. Just leave it V-E-N-D and it's pronounced il vend. Elle vend. On vend. For the new form, add uh, O-N-S. Nous vendons. For the vous form, add EZ, vous vendez. And for the il, elle plural form, I know you can guess it, you add an E N T, and yes, you're right, it's silent. So, il vend, elle vend. Voila, there's your revision. If you already knew how to conjugate these verbs, and if you didn't know how, then let me tell you, there are lots and lots and lots of verbs that are conjugated this way. And as long as you know how to do one, they all follow a pattern. So I want you to go away from this lesson feeling really, really good about your abilities in French. You do know more than you thought you knew. And it would be a really good exercise for you now, if you want to carry on a little bit, to make yourself a list. You can use Google to help you. Make yourself a list of regular ER verbs regular IR verbs and regular RE verbs. I'm sure there are going to be a lot in there that are new to you, so write down what they mean in English as well. And you can know that they're all conjugated in exactly the same way. And you probably just tripled your knowledge. I hope that you enjoyed the lesson. Let me know if it helped you. And if you want to take some Skype lessons with me, I do give French lessons via Skype. It doesn't matter where you live in the world. I'm in France, but maybe you're in China or the United States or somewhere like that. It doesn't matter where you are. If you're not sure, then come on to my website, which you see there on the screen, and you can sign up for a free 15-minute trial lesson on Skype. See what you think of it yourself with no risk. Merci beaucoup. I'm glad you stopped by and à bientôt. Au revoir.